Hello guys and welcome to a new war game video today by me Vulcan. Today I'm playing a 1 vs 1 against Ardy, it's a random lobby I joined in. It was supposed to be a TV2 but we just decided to play 1v1. There is 4000 points to start which uh, is a bit strange but there we go, we'll see what happens. Um, Ardy I believe was playing a Finnish deck, I'm playing British Armoured so I have no idea what's going to happen in this one. Uh, not decks I'm used to playing. I'm just going to have to spread out all my troops. There is literally, this is going to be carnage. Um, I'm going to put Chieftain Mark Vies with Fusilier 90s and Golf. I'm going to put uh, multiple Challengers in the center. We'll put some uh, Challenger 2s there. And we'll put some Challenger 1 Mark 3s um, with the support of probably some Stormers and a Challenger Marksman. Then over on the left... Um, Probably going to just push up this road as soon as possible, so we'll probably go for another Challenger 2. We'll grab some Challenger 1 Mark 1s. They can back us up. And then we'll go for some Warrior Milans, since these guys have 80 gems, they should be quite useful. And again, we'll go for a couple of Stormers and a Challenger Marksman. Okay, we need to sort out our con uh, command vehicles, so I'm going to keep a Sultan at base. We're going to... Take another Sultan for Charlie. Um, another one for Golf. So I'll probably go for Command Tank in Golf. And then what I'm going to do is have some Recon. We're going to need some Recon, so let's grab some Gazelles. And we'll grab some Green Jackets, probably in Pumas, so I can get them to where I need them to be sooner than later. Probably going to put one uh, here. We'll put one maybe here. One in the uh, golf sector over on the left, and maybe one on the uh, on in Bravo as well. Um, that's on the right. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, probably going to start with a couple of Euro fighters. I'm really not sure um, what they're going to bring in, so I'm probably just going to play it safe. We'll bring in a couple of Euro fighters at the start. That way, I can take down helicopters and aircraft if they spam them. Um, I'm also tempted to bring in some Centurion AVREs on the right. The Mark Vs are great though. Um, maybe just some more infantry here because we have extra points. I'm not used to having this many points at all. Um, we're going to need some infantry in the center. So let's again bring some Warrior Milans and maybe some Fusilier 90s in the FVs. Um, I'm also tempted to bring some Milan 2s. Maybe we can get them into this compound here. And I might also get some for the center as well. Hmm, <laughs> what else to spend the points on? Um, probably more tanks, I guess. We also more AA maybe. Depends really how heavy he goes on helicopters. So maybe we'll grab a couple more track rapiers and maybe add a challenger marksman on the right. Okay, so that should help us out. Uh, maybe a stormer over here as well, just in case. All right then, um, we are going to need probably some mortars, so let's bring those in. And that will be all of my points spent. There we go. So I've got three lines of attack. We've got Bravo, Foxtrot and Golf. We're just going to smash each one, hopefully, and we'll see how this goes. Not, like I said, used to a 1v1, but there we go. I'll tell him I'm ready so that we can launch when he is. Not very used to this. I'm just going to bring out my Eurofighters at the start to have a look around. They have exceptional air detection, so they should be able to spot any helicopters if there's a helicopter rush. And we, I believe we do have very high income, so um, hopefully we'll be able to shoot them all down. It's very risky actually to go for like a heli rush. Um, and I don't think he has very many helicopters anyway because he'll be on finished deck. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, I don't believe they have any super heavy tanks. so He probably struggled to deal with my challenges and so on. Um, so let's do this. Um, let's get all of my guys sorted. I'm just going to go for some march orders or some force, uh, some uh, fast move orders. I'm going to move up my mortars. Let's bring over these um, pumas. And I'm just going to have to concentrate on this micro because there is going to be a lot to do in this game. So have the Sultan move in there, and um, we'll have the Chieftain Mark uh, 10 move into here. Okay, what's the situation? 
probably just gonna drop the chaps into those compounds and we'll spread out on the right side challenger marksman can just move here with the stormer behind him uh, we're probably going to push in the centurion avre and so on okay let's uh make sure that we are just continuing up the road i'm going to spread out my warrior milans okay this is going to be coming at me with quite a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff. Uh, let me get these uh, Marksmans and Stormer HVMs out of the way. Okay, that's a lot of T-55s. I think I lost my Challenger too, unfortunately. But hopefully my Warrior Milans will be able to help us out with these T-55s nicely. I'm going to get my Fusilier 90s to run on into the forest there. Let's uh, unload all these chaps. <laughs> and we'll get them all running forwards. I'm pretty just going to move forwards the infantry in this town as well because it seems that they've taken a little bit of time to get forwards on this uh, this side. In the center, oh, I need to be careful of this. This is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> Completely miss microing, like all my stuff at the moment. Get all of these chaps out. We'll run up the hills in the center. Okay, this is a right cluster. Did I lose both my tanks on the left? I'm going to bring in some more Challenger 1 Mark 3s. Continue the push here. I think over on this side, I've got a pretty strong push going on. So I'm just going to leave that be. Over in the middle. Uh, oh, let's see what we bump into. Okay, nothing special. Great. So we can take this hill. That will give us control of Foxtrot. So maybe I should bring in a command vehicle or something there. Okay, so they have MI8 KTs. Let's maybe get our AA up here now. Get my Challenger 2 to move up there. And we're going to continue with the uh, Fusiliers through the forest here. Make sure these fusiliers are moving up. Okay, Warrior Milan, we have a T72 M1 mod. Let's try and take that out. This is just a right cluster on every flank. Let's bring in the Eurofighter Typhoons because they're going for their aircraft. Okay, Eurofighter Typhoons really letting me down. <laughs> Let's get them out of there. Not sure how much AA they had, but it didn't seem like much. Continue the push in the center. Gonna unload these uh, Milans and we'll have them move up as well. Unload that guy. Get him to move up. Maybe we can take out these XAs. Okay, great stuff. So we've actually made a ton of progress. Kind of steamrolled over him pretty hard. Just need to make sure that I maintain my position in this area. Over on this right side, I'm actually in a pretty sticky spot. We're going to bring in some more Fusiliers to cover the forest in the center. We're still doing great. We've got two Challenger 2s here. Hero Fighter Typhoons are rearming and repairing. Um, we probably expect to find maybe um, some aircraft come towards us soon. Although, considering his deck, there's not going to be much significant that can really damage me. So let's uh, continue moving onwards. Get these uh, Challenger 1s to move up. Oh, we need to get the Marksman onto the uh, HH-10s. That's what that's there for. Okay, great. So we'll get the Challenger Marksman back now. Just so I don't lose it. And uh, we'll just set up a defensive line. Maybe we can get these Fusiliers actually into those forests. That would be fantastic. Oh, these guys have come up as reinforcements. Let's make sure the Stormer HVM gets into the tree line. Oh, we don't want to be hit by that there. Thank you very much. Oh, my challenge marksman actually ran out of ammunition. So we don't have that to rely on. Let's bring up my Stormer. Uh, maybe get this Stormer to move up and hit that. The Yokari getting hit very hard there by the challenge marksman. Love it. And uh, over on this right side, things still not looking great. Sultan arriving at Foxtrot. And that will start to give us a conquest lead. 
So we have a brilliant position here. If he continues to focus on uh, this left side, uh, we should be able to smash him. Uh, let's bring in some Albus Stalwarts to resupply my troops. And we're going to have to focus very hard on them right now. Again, I did have uh, plenty of uh, troops coming up here. So we're going to maintain those reinforcements. Some bombs coming in onto the Fusiliers. Fortunately, just missed. I'm going to have these Fusiliers move up as well now. Okay, my Storm is in the right position. Fantastic. Right, so now I'm probably going to have this Challenger to move up to the edge of the hill here so that I can take out these APCs and also all of the infantry. Brilliant. Okay, that's good. Let's unload all of these uh, fusiliers and I'll probably just maybe maintain a defensive perimeter. Get all of the APCs to move on. Right, we've managed to take control of this compound over here, which is great. Okay, the Storm HVM needs to take care of that helicopter. Thank you. And we need to take care of these Yukarti Yukari. So let's bring in some Warrior Milans here. And I'm probably going to bring in some FVs, and they're going to cross the river. So these chaps need to go into the tree line there. We have a trap rapier, we've got the green jacket, fantastic. And this green jacket can actually move up. This Storm HVM needs to move more to the left. And we'll bring in our gazelle. Eurofighter's nearly back on board, so that'll be good. We can actually bring in some Jaguars. I didn't think they had much AA, so maybe we can hit them hard there. We need to make sure that my challenger doesn't get side shot, which it just did, unfortunately. Uh, maybe we can get this gazelle to reveal those for us. Or we could just go for those T-72M1s at the back there. Or maybe over here. Not entirely sure. They're sort of using those in twos. Let's unload the slot and uh, have them push towards the cart in Yukari. Okay, let's just evac those lot. We're going to split these troops. And we're going to continue to move towards the enemy. Over on this left side, we're still engaged in the cart in Yukari. Uh, let's have the Challenger 1 Mark 3 move over here. We'll have these ones actually move forwards into the open. It's a bit risky, but it should be fine. I really need my Typhoons to come back in. Come on, Typhoons. Be ready for me. Probably hit these T-72s now as well. Okay, let's just hit the ones on the road. They'll be easier targets. Got my Eurofighter Typhoons coming in as well. Okay, let's uh, make sure we get rid of this MiG-21 BIS. Oh, I actually shot down my Jaguar. How annoying. Managed to get rid of that though. Come around and at attack the T-72M1 back there. Currently, we're still doing well. The Kart and Yukari are taking a lot of damage. Going to move forward the rest of my Fusiliers now. Hopefully get rid of this T-72. Yep, yeah, great job. So that can now evac. And we'll have the ty Typhoons continue to fly around. So he seems to have almost neglected his AA, which is something that has hit him quite hard there. We have a great position now. He has no contesting in Voxtrot. He could contest Golf. So I'm going to continue to focus on Golf and we'll start to bring in some heavy tanks on that side just to defend it properly. We'll bring in some Challenger 2s and stuff. Okay, so we need to be careful of that. <laughs> Those Challenger 1 Mark 3s getting hit hard by the helicopters there. Still bringing those helicopters in. Alright, so MiG-29, that's going to go down. Let's get these Eurofighter Typhoons out of there to resupply or refuel. So we only have, what, four missiles left? I'm just going to reverse that Challenger 1 into the tree line. 
and then we'll leave them there. Okay, so we'll get these Alvis stalwarts back to base. We'll move these ones over to the left, move these ones back to base. We need to get these ones to unload. We're just going to have them run to this compound. We'll put one in each of them. I was going to have those cross the river over on that left side. I can probably have the APCs move over there. Unless they're not amphibious. No, they're not. Okay. Never mind then. We'll just have them provide fire support onto the town as they approach. Warrior Milans. We'll probably move them over to the right side with the green jacket. And uh, we're starting to make some ground again here. Just going to split these squads of fusiliers so that we have them in the best positions possible. And we're going to bring in the Jaguar again. So since we can see them, we may as well. Eurofighter Typhoon should be available soon. Thank you very much. Oh, I've just brought them in and the Avia is coming, so we can take care of that. Let's evac this Jaguar, we lost line of sight. Okay, so these are both like elite Eurofighters, so they shouldn't really miss too often. Probably bring, our, bring in our own GR5 now. And then we can make a move for the town. So we're going to start the infantry running straight away. And then what will happen is as we hit the town, the bombs will drop. And we should not have to deal with enemy infantry in that area. So I'm probably going to bring over another gazelle here. Just so we can see if anything's coming down this road. And we're going to bring up a challenger for the right side. So I think we already brought up a challenger too. Yes, we did. Okay, that actually... Didn't really hit what I wanted it to. It hit the left compound instead of the right one, but there's only a few infantry units left, so that's fine. Um, we'll have the Challenger 1 Mark 3 move over to the right side. We'll have the Challenger 2 in the tree line in the center. So we're still at a plus 1. Um, I just need to be careful of my flanks really now. I'm probably going to have some green jacket dot around just so that I can check my flanks. We do have very high income, so I can kind of afford to do this, which is great. We have these uh, Warrior Milans just move up and get a defensive perimeter going on. Going to drop those infantry out of there. We're going to split them up. And we'll have them move on. Okay, I'm going to split up the Warrior Milans as well. We're going to keep one on the edge of the tree line here. And we'll move one over to the right side. We're going to do the same with these guys. We'll put one here and we'll put one over here okay the green jackets are being fired upon with artillery so we're going to avoid that it looks like that's what he's turned to now which is fine challengers have got a great position up here we have controlled this town so that's fantastic now the only thing that i can do is maybe get some of these pumas to actually we'll unload that one and we'll actually have this one move up to bravo with the other one so we can have some green jackets on the left side of bravo and maybe we can push into Bravo. So, because we have all of this income, it's actually <laughs> it's making me run out of troops quite quickly. <laughs> Let's have a, a load of Milan squads come in and dot about. I'll unload them all when they get to their positions. See, that one's kind of pointless there. Uh, we'll have it maybe in the tree line just there that's fine so that was uh pretty intense for the first 15 minutes or so of this game pretty crazy but now it's quietened down a little i guess he's going to be building up an attack to fight us off he's going to hit us in one location or the other and it's going to be pretty disgusting but we should be okay let's bring the stormer hvm up onto the center i am going to reinforce my aa probably because it's likely that he will push me hard on one location and if I don't have any AA there and he brings in some helicopters then I'm kind of screwed. So let's have these green jackets go for a walk. We'll have these uh, pumas go out wide. Maybe they can uh, just provide us some recon on their own. Have this uh, puma come down to the bottom side because people love going right around the bottom of the map. Also I probably need something for the right side so maybe a gazelle. Another gazelle would be a good idea. Just to sit on top of this mountain, cover the right side of recon. So just covering off my flanks now and then I'll prepare for like another attack maybe. Really depends, I'm relying a lot on my tanks. So it's gonna be very hard to push into like Echo and Alpha because there's so many trees here. 
And also I don't want to like give away my position by moving all of my units forwards and then being vulnerable to a counter attack. So a pretty fun game so far. I'm <laughs> definitely not used to having so many points and so many units to move, but I've been trying to micro properly. <laughs> So large amount of tanks on the right, we've got the tanks on the left, which are up here. I might have this uh, marksman move up a bit more. And we'll have these two guys stay there. I'm going to move back the other stalwarts, have the stalwarts at base come back. I'm going to move one up onto the top to resupply that Milan. And, well, these pumas are fine. See if the green jackets can find anything. Very tempting to bring in a command tank just to go over the bridge here, and maybe we can cover off this left side from the right bank. That might be something worth doing. Um, we'll bring in some chieftain mark fives and have them push forwards, or maybe stay on the right side of the of the town, and then we can have them fire across the canal, and we'll have the command tank move in here to contest Bravo, just so that we get a few more extra points. At the moment, we're just being artied all the time. It's a shame, but um, not doing too much damage. What's this coming over on the left here? Got a few units moving about. Looks like some AA pieces, and what's this? They're the little AT weapons, or AT weapon uh, helicopters. Okay, so these green jacket aren't going to last two seconds. We're just going to continue to bring in those Chieftain Mark Fives though, because they're fantastic. They have four HE power. Makes them really, really good. Okay, goodbye green jacket. We're just going to retreat that unit. <laughs> Maybe I could have the Puma shoot down those little birds. That would be quite funny. Because those little bears were just sort of hovering here and they don't have any weapons other than the ATGMs. So I could probably just shoot them down with the machine guns from the Puma. Okay, I've got to be wary of that. Let's uh, just target the, uh, the helicopters here. Oh, no. The AA has uh, placed itself and we are not going to be seeing that happen anytime soon. Right, let's uh, select all of these FVs and unload them all. And we'll have them all just drive off to one side. I'll probably have them move over to the left side here. So they can leave my Milans in their places. And that's great. Okay, so he's brought over some infantry over to the left. That's two units of cart in Yukari. That's really weird that he's moved them over to that side. Now let's continue with the uh, Chieftain Mark Fives here. And I'm also maybe thinking about bringing up a heavier tank to cover us as well. So I'm just going to have that in the very corner of this forest area here so that we can cover it with the Chieftain Mark Fives. That's the plan. I'm also going to need some recon. We do have some recon in the, the forest here. But I'm going to need some better recon, so I'm tempted to maybe get a gazelle to sit further back. That will have a good line of sight into all of the town area here, and also the forests. Uh, let's get these fusiliers to just spread out on this right side. Uh, there is a helicopter or something coming around on the right. We're just going to get my Eurofighter Typhoon to come in and shoot that down. Okay, these Alvis stalwarts have run out of ammunition. Let's come up over here. But we'll bring over another one to shoot down that one. Goodbye, Alouettes. Okay, let's uh, attack this uh, MiG-29. Gonna have used up all of its ammunition. Okay, did hit my Eurofighter, unfortunately. So we have Bravo contested, which is fantastic. And what happened to my mortars? I reckon I actually lost them, didn't I? They must be somewhere. What I can do um, <laughs> is probably bring in 
one mortar, then just like double click it to find the rest. All, right, all these FVs, <laughs> we're just going to split them all up and we'll have them just all drive through Bravo and provide us with targets for the tanks. And then the tanks on the right side of the canal can just fire over to the left. We've got loads of Chieftain Mark 5s now, so that's really good. Okay, let's have these guys move back a bit because they are spotted. And we're going to have a bomber come in on the left side. Probably cover it with the Eurofighter just in case. Okay, I'm probably going to have these Chieftain Mark 5s sit out in the open maybe. Maybe bring in the second bomber here. Just to bomb a bit closer. Well, shot down both of their airplanes. That's good. Well, the Raniko Yukari did find my command tank. Well, that's okay. We can just bring in another one. My tanks are going to have a field day here. They're making a push back against me now. Challenger 1 is not in the best spot. Should be able to take out these Puspajons quite nicely. Maria Milan's going to be trying to take out that as well. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm just going to have all of those APCs charge in that round again. <laughs> Yukari. Use up all of those <laughs> uh, machine guns and goodbye to those squads as they do get absolutely wrecked. Maybe we can fire position. I'm not entirely sure if we're able to actually hit them. I was, ho I was hoping we would be able to. Oh well, the machine guns should be able to finish them off there. Challenger 2 is fine, dealing lots of damage. We did lose both of our Challenger 1 Mark 3s that were here. Let's bring up some Challenger 1 Mark 1s to reinforce the center. We can use up our forces. And we do have the command tank coming in again. Alright, these guys actually haven't gone anywhere. We managed to take out that squad. Fantastic. Uh, the Challenger Marksman actually could probably come and help finish off the Yakari there. So he tried to push me back, but unfortunately it didn't go too well. Now some recon coming over in front of some XAs. Well, goodbye to all that. Okay, we'll move this uh, Milan squad because that is getting hit pretty hard. The challenge is being hit hard as well. Let's bring these Alvis stalwarts back to base and replace them with the ones that are at base. We're going to have the command tank move in there. And since we don't have any infantry left, <laughs> probably going to have to rely on some green jackets here on the left side. All these Chieftain Mark 5s making short work of any infantry that they find, which is great. i move up this gazelle slightly. Let's move forwards the Challenger 2. Just to kill off this T-55. Because it is hitting my Challenger Marksman. Fortunately the Milan 2 squads are good enough to take out the T-55. But the T-72 M1 mod is going to kill my Marksman. So we're going to bring in a replacement for that. Okay, so we've got to be careful in the center. 
going to bring in some ch Challenger Mark or Chieftain Mark 5s so that they can provide their 4 HE power, especially onto all of this infantry. If it just starts to charge towards me, I don't actually think that I'll have a chance to kill it all before it reaches my tanks. Basically made the move that I needed to early on enough that I didn't run out of uh, infantry at that time. I could swing some infantry over from the left maybe. Uh, we have plenty of extra over here. Uh, maybe these guys can come over. Let's uh, yeah, repair the Challenger too, that's probably the best bet. These Warrior Milans using the Radens to attack those guys. Challenger 1 Mark 1s are coming up. Oh, the Challenger 2 is in a bad spot. Well, it's dead. A very bad spot. So the Challenger 1 Mark 1 is inefficient. Okay, let's just uh, make a defensive line up the top of the hill. we are being pushed back. Uh, let's bring over some of these chieftains. Hopefully this warrior Milan can actually side shot quite a lot. That would be very good actually. Stormer HVM can actually move back off the hill. I'm going to move the fusiliers up here. Oh, why did he jump out? Well that was stupid wasn't it? Finally making use of that infantry advantage that he has. I'm going to bring in some Lynx Totus here. Probably going to leave a couple of Chieftain Marksmen on the left side. Going to unload the Green Jackets. We'll have them move up in Bravo. Okay, let's move up this Gazelle again. Not sure if they have much anti-air. I think those Ito 96s are, yeah. Okay, so they're going to be charging up the hill here. We're going to bring the Challenger Marksman back. I'm going to move back this Gazelle just so it doesn't get shot down by the Itos. And we're going to have the Chieftain Mark 5s move up here. And they should be able to blast anything that comes up the hill. Maybe it's time to bring in some Scimitars. Okay, I've got to be careful of the Ito again. Maybe we can kill the Ito, I'm not sure. No, fortunately not. So as each squad comes up, they're gonna get annihilated. <laughs> and that's fine by me. Still at the plus two. We can have this green jacket move on. And we're going to bring in some more over onto this left side just so that we can continue scouting over there. Okay, somehow that T-72 was able to shoot at my Challenger Marksman. I think it was because it's slightly up on the hill there. That was a shame. Okay, let's bring in some Jack Rapier FSAs just to uh, cover that off. And I should probably use this uh, Jaguar. We'll bring in some... You're actually, it's probably a bad idea. Um, do I have Sea Harriers? We do. Okay, maybe just bring in a Sea Harrier. We'll bring in the Eurofighter Typhoon. We'll swing them over to the left. I don't want them to get hit by the AA. Okay, so they managed to sort that out nicely. Oh, he turned off his radar, I assume. That's a shame. Let's bring back the uh, chieftains here. We don't want them to be side shot. The Yukari is trying to move across there. It's just going to get slammed. Good. Got to find this uh, command unit. There it is. Okay. So I think it's probably worth bombing that. If we bring over a Harrier GR5 to the far left, maybe bring out the Sea Harrier as well. So that when they fire at the GR5, do you actually manage to uh, kill the Itos? I'm going to bring out a bomber as well. Maybe we can 
bomb the uh, Itos as they approach the bridge there. There we go, lovely. Okay, so that worked out perfectly. We managed to take out both of them. Harrier GR5 hopefully will get out alive as well. It's going to take a hit, but we'll survive another day. Okay, great. So we've taken out the command vehicle in Bravo, giving us this plus three. And uh, Ardy says that's GG. Fabulous. And that's victory in 30 minutes and 29 seconds. 6,215 kills to 4,100 losses. That was a nice game. A very interesting game. You know, armoured, um, British armoured against uh, Finnish. Um, he did have some disadvantages, especially when it came to tanks. Um, but there we go. Finland did actually stand up quite well to that deck. And I did lose... Oh, I did run out of infantry, so maybe if he had exploited that sooner... Uh, then maybe we could have had that would have been a different battle but either way hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one um not often i do 1v1s um so there we go <laughs> thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one goodbye